How to give yourself a French manicure. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. I'm going to show you how to give yourself a French manicure. In a few minutes, we are going to go from this to this. Step one, you will need four types of nail varnish, a base coat or ridge filler, a colour varnish, a top coat and a white or cream tip varnish, nail varnish remover, cuticle oil or any edible oil, a cuticle stick, an emery board, a cotton pad, hand and nail moisturiser. Step 2. Make some time. Don't rush your manicure, you'll make a mess. Give yourself some time and do it right. It will last longer in the end. Step 3. Nail varnish remover. Get rid of any old nail varnish using some nail varnish remover on a cotton pad. Step 4. Cuticle oil. Put on some cuticle oil and massage it in. Leave it on while you file so that it softens your cuticles. If you don't have cuticle oil, olive oil or any edible oil will work just as well. Step 5. File your nails. There is no point in having beautifully varnished nails that are ragged. Take an emery board and run it along the nail tip, only in one direction, until you get the shape you want. When you have finished shaping the nails, use a motion like this to get rid of the frayed edges. This is called beveling. Step 6. Tidy up your cuticles. Cuticles are the skin that overlaps onto the nail. Oil in the skin prevents a good nail varnish application. So soften your cuticles further by soaking them in warm water. This can take up to 15 minutes. A great alternative to this is to apply cuticle remover to your nails. Give your hands a generous coat of moisturiser and wrap in cling film for 15 minutes. This softens the cuticles and moisturises your hands. To remove the dead cuticle, rub a cuticle stick around it in very small circles so that it's rubbed off. You can then push the rest of the cuticle back. Step 7. Wash your hands. Clean away all of the nail dust and grime so you don't seal it in. Wipe the nails down with a little nail varnish remover once again to remove any oil residue as it will cause the varnish to flake off. Step 8. Put on a base coat. Wipe off the extra on the side of the bottle. Brush on in two or three careful strokes. The base coat protects your nail from being stained by the pigments in the colour varnish. Step 9. Put on the tip. You can use a pink, white or cream colour like this for the tip. Cream has a more natural look than white. Carefully draw a thin line of varnish across the natural white tip of the nail. If the line looks uneven initially, let it dry, and if you need to, put a second neater line over it. Make sure it's fully dry before putting on the next layer of nail varnish. The white tip can be tricky. Some manicure sets come with stickers that you can paint the tip over. They guard against putting on a crooked line. Top tip. Here's another trick to make the tip application easier. Take a small piece of cardboard and cut out a diamond shape like this. Put your nail in it and brush along the white tip. It will stop the varnish from going on your skin. Step 10. Apply the colour. Brush on the colour varnish next. Again, Make sure there's not too much on the brush. You can put more layers on if you need to deepen the colour. Wait until the first layer is dry to touch and then put on a second layer. The classic colour to use for a French manicure is a transparent pink or beige. Step 11. Put on a top coat. The top coat is a hard, clear layer. It seals in the colour and protects the nail. Step 12. Let it dry. If you want a good manicure, you should leave it at least five minutes before even checking if it's dry. Top tip. 
To check if it's dry, you can lightly touch a nail with your tongue. If you taste nail varnish, it's not dry. If you're afraid your nails are still tacky, put a little cuticle oil on them to prevent lint from your clothes sticking to them. Step 13. Tidy up. If you smudge the top coat or tip, you'll need to remove all the varnish from that nail and start again. However, if you've got just a little varnish on the skin around your nail, use a cuticle stick with a little cotton wool and nail varnish remover to wipe it off. This is much more precise than a cotton bud. Step 14. Put away your varnish. Add a little nail varnish remover to a paper tissue and wipe around the bottle. This will prevent it from becoming sealed shut. Done.